Hey, hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a Shein try on haul and review. So I'll be going through a bunch of frequently asked questions that I've received as well as give my first impression on every single item. So this video is not sponsored, but if Shein would like to sponsor me then... All right, so I have all the products here minus some of the accessories, but let's get right into it. All right, so I'm gonna answer a couple of questions that I got first about the whole process and everything that I received. So I wrote them down and I'm gonna go over them. So I placed my order on May 23rd and it shipped out on May 29th. So that's when I received an email um, and it arrived on June 5th. So I actually didn't receive a Canada Post tracking like email or anything like that. And I figured since like, with the pandemic and everything, it would probably take a lot longer to ship. And I've read a lot of the comments saying that packages were coming in like a month later. So I was like, oh, okay, like I'm not even gonna bother tracking it, but it came in surprisingly very fast. Um, everything came at once, so that was awesome. I live in Toronto, Canada, so that's some information there. And yeah, let's get right into the haul. All right, so this is the first item. It is a quilted bag. It has some cute gold hardware here, and it opens up like this. It's pretty spacious, and it comes with a chain that is detachable. Um, so there's these clamps on the side here that you can just clip in and clip off So I'd say like not the best quality for a chain So I might replace this with a different one But I mean it's a pretty good and decent size like this is like comparing to my phone, which is the iPhone X so For scale, I am super excited to start wearing this it goes really well with the next item that I'm going to show you so these mules are the cutest thing that I have ever seen. They look like this up close. I'm gonna stop pulling that. Okay, so they look like this up close. There's some really nice beading and it's like quilted and stuff, super cute. It's got like a mini heel. I love the packaging that they all come in. It's like this cute, like reusable zip lock bag which I think is so nice because when I order from Zaffle or other websites like Shein, only the um, bathing suits come in like reusable bags like this. So that's quite nice to not, you know, use a bunch of plastic. It's funny because of all the things that I ordered, the things that I was looking forward to the most ended up not being what I expected them to be. So yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go through the shirts now, but this cute white top looks like this. It's got like really fun, like ruffled sleeves and it ties up in the front. The material seems like it's pretty see-through, but I mean, if you feel more comfortable wearing a like bralette or bra under it, then by all means, but it's super cute and it looks like these. All right, so the next item that I got is like the infamous summer shirt. I'm sure you've all seen this everywhere. <laughs> when it looks like this, it is a cotton shirt and it just ties up in the front with these two string things just to note every item that i got was in a size medium and i kind of regret getting some of them in that size because you'll see the fit some of them um fit a little bit too big like this shirt for example i wanted it to fit a little bit smaller but the reviews for like every single item are so different so that's something important to keep in mind because i feel like every product is designed or curated differently in terms of like the sizing so i definitely say check out the reviews and see what other people's uh, measurements are compared to your own and what size they got um, generally i only order things where there's a picture review so yeah but i really like this lilac color i think it would look super cute with my hair color right now so can't wait to wear that the next few things that i got are skirts these ones, I'm gonna say right now, I tried them all on and I regret getting them all in a size medium because they're all, they just fit too big on me. Um, I can still like, it still fits, but I just would have rather it be smaller. But yeah, I'm gonna show you these ones. So the first two skirts that I got are actually pretty similar, which I did not expect them to look so similar, but it's okay. So it looks like this, this is the first skirt. I don't know, so when I ordered this, and I saw it online, it looked so much cuter, but then when I got it in person, I'm like, this skirt reminds me of like, the type of skirts that I would wear in middle school. So hopefully I can like style this like cuter, but 
this is a size medium as you can see it, like it looks pretty big i could even wear it as like a tube top but um yeah it's like this blue floral pattern it has these two very long ties at the front it's stretchy and it's got these like layered ruffles here i don't even know if you can tell but there's like two of these like details there so i mean this is cute the color is nice and i don't have anything in that pattern so hopefully i can style that nicely but yeah i got another skirt which happened to be the exact same but in this red color i didn't expect it to be the exact same because they look different in the pictures but again it's the exact same style um same pattern and everything it's just a different color so yeah all right so this next item this one looked super cute in the reviews so i had high hopes for this one um so it looks like this i know at first it looks like super like weird and confusing but it's stretchy at the back and the front this piece over here wraps around in the front and then it ties off at the side here there is also a zipper on one of the sides so that's really nice to have i love this like the ruffling here i think that's super cute so i think paired with like a nice white top all these skirts with a white top would look super nice this one fits the same as well because like they're all a size medium but you'll see in the try on part how that looks on me and the last two items are dresses so i was looking forward to this dress the most because i've seen this dress everywhere not only from Shein, but like many different other brands have been making like dresses in this same style so i was super excited about this but when i tried it on it was too big so i might have to tailor this one just to make it a little bit more fitted especially around the waist but i love the color it looks like this as you can see like it's pretty like wide around the hips but that's what she looks like what i really like about this is that you know you can wear it off the shoulder and there's this like really cute adjustable tie here this dress is really interesting because the front of it is just like all one like straight pattern or one stitching but then the entire back of it is like this scrunchy material i don't know if you can see but like it's all stretchy in the back but like the front is just this like no stitching and the last item that i got also had a lot of positive reviews which is why i picked it up but again it's really big on me but i can make it work <laughs> so it's this really long green dress looks like that super long it doesn't look cute when i wear it like that Thankfully, they have a tie that comes with it. Otherwise, this is just way too big on me. And again, these are all a size medium. That is just too wide for my body. So we're gonna have to fix that. But yeah, that's pretty much all the items that I got from Shein. I wanted to get enough of a variety of different items just so I can review like the shoes, accessories, as well as the clothing. You really do get what you pay for. The quality is not the best, but I feel like when you're shopping at retailers that are really under the fast fashion umbrella, like this is what you're going to get for it. The reason why I wanted to go ahead and purchase things from Shein is because I've heard a lot of different reviews about it and I've purchased things from Zappo before and a lot of people like to do that comparison. So I wanted to see for myself. All in all, I would say the quality of the items that I got from Zappo are a lot better than Shein, but I know some of the suppliers are actually the same. Since everything is from china like a lot of the wholesale companies that these brands are collaborating with usually tend to be the same my overall review is that you know you're going to get a variety of different products at a price point that is significantly lower than what you can get shopping at i don't know an urban outfitters or whatever but you have to understand the quality is different and the sizing is not always precise. So those are my only reviews. All right, so that concludes the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Shein try on haul and review. If you would like to see more content like this, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.